Well, um, hello everyone. Let's start this uh, video conference. The three factors of the Well, uh, first of all, uh, not everything works, all right? In the secret path to the real enlightenment, the authentic freedom, uh, not everything works, okay? That's why there are three different works, objective works, to prove that working on them for the rest of our whole and entire life we'll get our we achieve our self-realization alright let's talk about uh, each one of these three different factors or words or processes to feel different to be something pretty different, right? Let's start. The first factor is the psychological death. And when we talk about psychological death, uh, where we are referring here to the freedom entirely of the whole essence, the one we have trapped inside of each one of our psychological defects. All right. Remember, psychological death, freedom of the ninety percent of the essence which is trapped currently in our ego which is formed by each one of our thousands and even millions of psychological defects that are represented in the seven different capital defects so right lust envy pride Destiny, greed, gluttony, anger. All right. So it's very important to analyze all this information to detect that uh, the more ego we have inside, the more difficult will be, and probably will never be, our own self-realization. All right. Uh, yes, the only possibility or the only fact to prove that we do have a trapped consciousness inside of each one of our psychological defects is practicing called the psychological death which is the elimination of our entire ego daily as much as we can daily if possible from instant to instant because here we are talking about the liberation, the freedom of the 90% of our essence, all right? That currently uh, is trapped inside of the psychological eye, all right? Inside of the ego. It's necessary to learn to self-observe ourselves. That's the first step in the previous conference we were talking and analyzing and explaining a bit about self-observation. But as it's been told, and it was been told, 
is necessary to first learn to self-observe ourselves. All right? When we start this process, when we start this process, we start the detection of the different inner reactions that we carry inside of ourselves represented in different type of uh, psychological effects, for example. We are full of fears, without a doubt, and without exception, unless we already eliminate eliminated our entire psychological defects, our ego, inside of each one of us, in, in the different levels of our psyche, in the different 49 levels of our mind, of our psyche, we do carry fears, we do carry laziness, thoughts, different concepts about sports, about politics, about religions, about uh, life, about the galaxies, about anything you want to talk, all right? We also carry rancors, for example, hate, envy, etc., 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 right? So the first thing is to detect these realities these unfortunate realities inside of each one of us, right? To then apply the psychological death, all right? It's been told that currently there is the ego inside of each one of us, but also we do have, we do carry the divine spark. She is the unique poor, the unique real inside of each human being. All right. Now, this divine spark is the three percent of our entire consciousness. Yes, because remember that the other ninety-seven percent of our consciousness is trapped inside of each one of our psychological defects. Now. How is this 3% divided? Talking about our divine spark, our inner God, our inner being inside of each one of us, our essence, which is the same. 1% is our inner father. Our inner father inside of each one of us, of any one of us, represents wisdom. The other 1% is our divine mother. Inner father, inner father is a male part of God. Male part of God. Our divine mother represents the female part of God inside of each one of us. And she represents love. She represents wisdom and she represents love. And the other 1% of consciousness, which is part of this essence, is the psychological coach, also called our son. This is a part of our own inner being, which is our own psychological coach, uh, that from instant to instant, every single day of our lives, in all those different human existences, uh, give us the different temptations to purify ourselves with the inner petition to our divine mother. So as soon as we detect that we have fear, that we are thinking too much about anything, right? that we are feeling any type of resentment or rancor, hate, that we are pride due to anything, for example, this is the father of all psychological defects, pride. This is the father of the entire group of thousands and even millions of psychological defects. Uh, 
currently inside immediately excuse me you detect with your self observation with the application yes with a, a, applying the self observation inside of you you detect all these inner movements any type of inner reaction and immediately you ask mentally from the bottom of your heart to your divine mother which represents love inside of you inside of each one of us as follows mentally remember but sincerely seriously honestly my divine mother please believe me this fear if at the very moment that you are uh, asking uh, the inner petition to your divine mother to delete the fear you're feeling fear right but if you're feeling envy or anxiety any type of hate do not believe me but prove it immediately mentally or even pride mentally from the bottom of your heart ask your divine mother mentally my divine mother please delete me this pride or this concept this hate this gluttony, this greed. All right. At the very moment, you are detecting that any one of uh, your psychological effects is controlling you, right? And immediately you feel the change. Excuse me, but do not believe me. Prove it. Just prove it, and you feel an immediate change inside. It means that you already, you just released one percentage of essence from your ego, which is trapped, which was trapped in your ego, and with that detection, thanks to the process of the self-observation, right? And then the inner petition to your Divine Mother mentally, sincerely, seriously, you start this transfer. You just begun this transfer of your consciousness to your divine spark and gradually if we persevere with honesty with discipline being serious with this process we'll see how gradually our divine sparks our divine spark get stronger and stronger and more and more powerful through us all right and gradually the power of our ego decreases due to the reality that we are practicing self-observation and immediately the inner petition to our Divine Mother, right? That's what we call here esoterically psychological death. Death or to die on ourselves. This is the fundamental. This is the basis of the entire process of purification. All right? Because ego is the cause of all type of sufferings in our earth planet. All right? The antichrist, the antichrist is our own ego. That's very important to know. It is not only one person of the earth planet, of the society. The antichrist is the ego. But if we eliminate, if we delete the ego with this tool, with this practical tool, we'll feel the change and gradually even our own vibration will raise, will increase. Because we are releasing consciously with our own will the trapped consciousness which is inside of each one of our psychological defects. Uh, for instance, let's put an example if we are feeling fear any type of fear all right at any moment we detect it because all of us suffer um of fears all right if we ask our divine mother please my divine mother delete me this fear we release the virtue the opposite virtue to this defect which is Braveness. All right? Unfortunately, we've been creating different thousands, hundreds, and even, yes, thousands of fears 
during our previous human existences. That's why it's a long process to delete our own fears. Some of us, for example, could have fear to snakes, fear to specific people, fear to dogs, fear to be alone for the rest of our lives, fears to death, etc, etc, etc. Alright, so only talking about the psychological defect, we are full of different types of fears. But if we start with patience, remember please, to be successful in the process of purifying ourselves, is necessary to have patience, perseverance, practice with discipline, daily, as much as we can daily, if possible, from instant to instant, all right? To don't let fall asleep our divine spark. As soon as we are observing our own inner processes, our inner reactions, immediately we light consciously our own divine spark, which is the only descent, the only real, the only eternal we carry inside. All right? So, gradually, if we continue with different repetitions of eliminating all these different types of fears we carry here inside of each one of us, obviously, only when fear uh, moves inside of each one of us, we'll feel more and more brave. We'll feel how the capacity of reaction of fears inside of each one of us decreases and we'll feel more and more brave. All right? Exactly the same, pride, envy, laziness, which is <laughs> very common worldwide. Laziness is a psychological defect very common in our teenagers, in the entire society. I think in, in, in general we could say that this is a huge and incredible psychological defect in our human, uh, you know, in our humanity, or right in our mankind. That's why it's very important to take this process with infinite patience, all right? Uh, uh, so part of the release consciousness is diversion, is the essence and different type of other inner forces we release with this process called psychological death. So basically and, and essentially when we talk about psychological death, we specifically, literally, we are talking about the elimination of the entire ego because inside of the ego are trapped different versions of our own inner being, right? For example, for instance, uh, as a second example, pride, which is the father of all psychological defects. What is the virtue of pride? What is the virtue opposite to pride? Humbleness. Isn't it right? If at any moment, any instant of the rest of our lives we feel pride due to anything, Remember, this is a psychological defect. Due to pride, <laughs> different relationships are broken nowadays. All right? This is the guilty guy of different type of broken relationships all around the world. Financial, financial relationships, uh, relationships, talking about couples, etc., etc., all right? So when we feel pride, please remember the inner petition to your Divine Mother and you'll feel how the capacity of reaction of your pride decreases and you are releasing immediately at the same time humbleness inside of you. All right? This is ego. This is suffering. All right? This is part of our own inner being. Our inner being is virtue, is power is a lot of different type of faculties, is happiness, 
It is suffering. It is happiness. It is love. It is consciousness. So gradually we persevere with the process of the elimination of our psychological defects, we'll feel the change. If, for example, we, have, we are witnessed by the side of pornography, masturbation, let's put in practice this, for example, if you do drugs or, or if any one of us have inconvenience or big problems with uh, alcoholism, as soon as you feel that temptation of drinking alcohol or doing drugs or masturbation, oral sex, etc., uh, etc., et remember your Divine Mother. She is right away, right there with you, ready to help you instantly, immediately. All right? This is a reality only for practitioners. This is not a theory, but a reality. Only practice makes perfect. Remember that. Only practice makes perfect. If we want to purify ourselves, it's necessary to practice with correct and proper tools that will lead us to feel a different change, a different vibration to continue with the rest of our own process of purification and self-realization. All right? Gradually, at the same time, we'll develop more capacity, more ability to analyze ourselves objectively, all right? It is essential to understand something else, please. Here, and uh, we don't like followers, all right? I don't want you to believe me. That's the worst thing you can do in your life, to believe me. If you practice these practical tools, excuse me, uh, you'll feel the change. And you won't follow me, but follow yourself. And that's the idea here, because you have your own inner being. You have your own consciousness. All of you, all of us, without exception, have our, our own wisdom. Because all of us, without exception, have our own inner being, our own inner God. All right? It's necessary to be practitioners to follow ourselves. The real esotericist, the real student about these spiritual matters, the spiritual topics, esoteric topics, topics, excuse me, is the one that follows himself always. We give here the practical tools, and it's your decision to put it in practice, to apply it in your lives or just let it in your mind as a theory. You have your own free will for sure, but I just recommend you to take the risk of start your own process of uh, purification. If we honestly and seriously want to know ourselves, if necessary, start knowing and observing and detecting the different type of sufferings that we carry inside. It is only possible through that practical tool, which is the one of self-observation. Self-observation. All right? And for sure, gradually, the different magnetic centers will be balanced. For sure. All right? If you want to check conference number four of all these cycle of video conferences, you'll get the entire information about the different magnetic centers of our human machine, of our physical body. Magnetic centers are different than chakras, okay? Please don't confuse yourself with this information. One thing is the magnetic centers, and something pretty different are chakras. They do exist. They do exist as well, all right? But they are different. If we want to open some day chakras, our own chakras, it's necessary to first balance our magnetic centers. Please check, I advise you to check, I recommend you to check video conference number four, called The Seven Centers of the Human Machine. Um, we'll see that the clue to balance our magnetic centers to, as a consequence of it, to uh, 
change the way we think and change the way we feel is the psychological death. This is the fundamental, the essential, this is the basis of the entire process of purification of any human being. Master Jesus, Master Krishna, Master Rabolu, Master Samael and Weir, Master Zoroaster, all those masters practiced the releasing of their consciousness, psychological death. All of them, without exception, eliminated, deleted their entire ego. This is the cause of the different sufferings currently uh, in our society. All right? Ego doesn't respect languages, nationalities, social status. He doesn't respect anyone. In fact, he is inside of each one of us, of all these thousands of millions of human beings in our beautiful Earth planet. All right, so please. Uh, Let's, let's remember something else before going to the second factor, to the explanation of the second factor of the revolution of the consciousness. And it's the reality that uh, when we work with the psychological death, uh, yes, uh, we are becoming something different. Very, very different. All right? Well, the capacity of analysis and uh, the capacity of reflection about anything in life will be different, bigger, and that's why it's very important to understand that we should follow ourselves. Those ones are real students to know themselves finally sooner than later, all right? Spiritual masters as Jesus, etc., etc., just gave us this secret path in order to give us the possibility to arrive where they are right now. Well, uh, let's continue, please, with this explanation of the other factor, the second factor of the revolution of the consciousness. Thank you. This psychological death, psychological death, excuse me, it works for any type of depression, works for any type of psychological defect we carry inside, okay? Remember, that's why I said to you, the elimination of the ego is the basis, is the essence of the entire work of the purification of each one of us. Second factor. The spiritual birth. Here we talk about supra six. The creation of the inner bodies inside of each one of us to have real, authentic representation in the higher dimensions of the universe. All right. Well, when we talk about this uh, called spiritual birth, it's necessary to find a partner, a spouse of the opposite sex. Okay. All right. The creation of these inner bodies to have real representation in the higher dimensions of the universe, not only here in this third dimension third dimension, excuse me, but also in the fourth, in the fifth, sixth, seventh, and even higher dimensions of the universe, the condition to have the real representation is to previously have created the specific bodies um, in which are currently uh, a specific type of consciousness and wisdom, all right? So, as it's been told, only between a man and a woman 
it's possible the creation of these inner bodies and the human regeneration. All right? I want and I need to be radical, in fact, with all this information. I prefer to be honest with you. These creations, to enter into the secret path of the human regeneration, to finally achieve sooner than later our self-realization is only possible between a man and a woman sexually connected. All right? We should get married with our spouse. In the case of us men, we should find a woman. All right? A permanent spouse. It's only possible with one couple. All right? The white brotherhood the universal white brotherhood only allows us allows us excuse me to find one permanent couple of the opposite sex All right uh, we should be married to practice super sex which is also called sexual alchemy it is the same basically the same sexual alchemy Supra sex or a spiritual birth are basically the same. All right. Now, uh, only in the nuptial bedroom, in that bridal bedroom, it's possible to transmute the sexual creative energy. That's why it's necessary to first learn to value our sexual creative energy. Unfortunately, and currently in our mankind, we haven't learned to value the sexual creative energy. Sex is something sacred. We haven't understood it. But it is like that. Sex is something sacred. Supra sex is allowed to practice only in the bridal bedroom, in the nuptial bedroom, okay? This bedroom will be our own altar, our own altar, right here in our nuptial or bridal bedroom, won't be TVs, won't be, for example, thunderous music, it'll be a place free of noise, to be honest, because the type of vibrations of spiritual forces that will be created right here cannot be mixed with these lower vibrations, right? Free of noise. Magnificent conditions of cleanliness. Perfect conditions, if possible, of cleanliness and ventilation as well. Remember, sex is something sacred, and at the same time, our master bedroom, our bridal bedroom, our nuptial bedroom 
is our own altar. Literally, it's an altar. Please, no TVs. No thunderous music right there. It'll be a place free of noise. Magnificent, if possible, perfect conditions of cleanliness and ventilation. Now, uh, some other conditions before going to uh, the practice of supra sex step by step are as follows. Conditions to practice properly in the correct way. Sexual alchemy are as follows. In a state of pregnancy, it is not allowed to practice supra sex, okay? If the woman is pregnant, Please do not practice sexual alchemy because this is considered as a crime against the Holy Spirit. Our sexual creative energy is our own Holy Spirit, literally. So if the woman is pregnant, is pregnant, excuse me, don't do it. If any one of you, or if both of you, are sick, don't do it neither. Don't do that either, okay, please. You must have good and correct health to practice properly sexual alchemy. For example, if any one of you the woman or you, the guy, the man, if any one of you or both of you don't want to practice, don't have the will to practice during that night sexual alchemy, please don't do it. Don't obligate yourself or even don't obligate your partner to practice supra sex. Again, it is also considered as a crime against the Holy Spirit. Other condition to don't practice, uh, please, super sex, uh, sexual alchemy or spiritual birth is if uh, the woman is with this period, with this menstruation. In this state, please do not practice sexual alchemy. Right? Even after the six first months of uh, having the child, it is not allowed by the bro white brotherhood to, to practice super sex, okay? Remember that. Even after the first six months, having the child, it's not allowed to practice sexual alchemy. You should wait not only the nine first months of pregnancy, but also the other six months after you had your new baby born, okay? It is 15 months you should wait 
to continue to retake your sexual alchemy practices. This is something delicate. This is something serious. This is not as we think it is or it should be. These are the conditions that the White Lodge, the White Brotherhood, give us gives us uh, to practice properly, correctly, sexual alchemy. All right now, if possible for you to practice sexual alchemy, please, if possible, only between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. You choose the time, but if possible for you, only between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. Because the energies of the universe are calm, all right? are more passive, all right, are perfect to practice correctly sexual alchemy, all right, but if for example any one of you have different terms in your work and you only guys can practice for example at any time from, for example, from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m., okay, do it this time. Do it during some minutes during these hours, all right? But it's advisable, it is more advisable, it's, uh, it's better to practice sexual alchemy between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m., right? Your energies are better, uh, the state of your mind, of your psyche is better. And remember that uh, when uh, we practice sexual alchemy, the emotional, the intellectual part will be calm as well. It's much better like that, okay? At the same time. Now, let's see the practice and its stages, its steps. Let's see. There are some preparations. before practicing sexual alchemy. Number two, number one, excuse me, the conjurations. This is, these are the different stages, the different steps. In order, please, please respect and follow the order. The conjurations. The conjurations are the lighting and magic circle. First, the blinding and then the magic circle. All right. If you check, please, video conference number seven, named called The Conjurations, uh, you, 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 you may scroll down this page and you see, you get, you'll find that video conference number seven, please. Video conference number seven called the conjurations. You'll see how the uh, conjurations are. This is a mantric song, and this is a conjuration to be protected during your sexual alchemy interaction, during your sexual alchemy process or practice. All right. First of all, do not practice sexual alchemy without making your conjurations to be protected by the divine hierarchies during your supra sex, during your spiritual birth. Please, this is a crucial recommendation for all of us. This is a mantric song and this is the inner petition. It's something very easy, very simple to understand. Is there is the need, please, to memorize them, to practice them sooner than later if any one of you have already your own spouse, your own couple, all right? After the conjuration, uh, please the inner petition. Mentally, from the bottom of your hearts, each one of you, you woman, you man, please remember this prayer. 
the inner petition mentally in your bridal bedroom, in your nuptial bedroom, mentally to your inner parents, your inner father and your divine mother. Here with a spontaneous, with natural words, simple, sincere words. You ask your inner parents to help you, to assist you, to be protected, to be inspired, to be focused during your sexual alchemy practice. All right? During some seconds, you may you'll ask them to be focused, to be protected, to be inspired, all right? To be relaxed, for example, as well, during your sexual alchemy process. You ask them to please guide you during your sexual alchemy process, all right? They are essential. They are essential, your inner parents, during this process of the creation of the superior, of the inner bodies, to know and to have real representation in the higher dimensions of the universe. All right? After the inner petition, each one of you, you man, you woman, with your own inner parents, immediately, excuse me, caresses and kisses. caresses and kisses, obviously, all right, to be excited, 100% excited, all right, we search here, we are trying to get, to achieve here, uh, yes, to be 100% excited, all right? Don't overexcite yourself, but yes, try to find 100% exciting during this process of caresses and kisses. You can speak to your partner, to your spouse, words you can say to her or in the case you women you can say to him nice words romantic words correct words don't be aggressive verbally with your spouse all right but be nice if you want to say nice romantic good, correct words to your partner during your caresses and kisses, excellent. If you want, let's do it. All right? Perfect. Caresses and kisses. Why and what for? Because it's necessary that the female sexual apparatus is perfectly lubricated. The female Ioni Female yoni, the vagina, should be, must be perfectly lubricated. That's why they are absolutely necessary. Perfectly lubricated. Or in the case of us men, our phallus. must be perfectly erected, right? Perfectly erected, perfectly strong. That's why. And that's what for? Right? Once you got excited, please 
the sexual penetration, the sexual connection, the phallus into the yoni. Penetration of the phallus into the yoni. Please turn the lights off. If possible for you, please turn the lights off. Is there because you may focus better in your own genitals, in your own sexual creative energy? You don't be distracted uh, by the female parts, for example, of the female physical body, for example, you only will be focused, concentrated in your own process of the transmutation of the sexual creative energy. All right? That's why it's better to turn lights off. All right? And as soon as you are connected sexually, please start a respiratory, a breathing process. A breathing process. As soon as you are sexually connected, right? Three different stages during this breathing process. Inhalation. Excuse me. Inhalation. Retention of the air. And exhalation of the air. You take the air by your nostrils. Nostrils. Only please by your nostrils. During approximately 20 seconds. During approximately 20 seconds. So it is slowly. Very slowly during approximately 20 seconds by your nostrils. You take the air. Right? You bring it to your lungs and then to your sexual glands. The testicles. For us men, for women, they're ovaries. Right? Here is necessary, it's crucial to work with imagination, conscious imagination. Concentration. And will. Alright. Then, when you brought the air to your sexual glands, taking it by your nostrils, having brought it to your lungs, finally to your sexual glands, you retain the air. You retain the air right and you imagine that your sexual energy goes all the way up through your dorsal spine vertebra by vertebra you imagine a golden cord you imagine a golden cord going from your coccyx the first bone of your spine, vertebra by vertebra, all the way up gradually, until your frown. Right during 20 seconds as well. If you only have the concentration or the capacity of retaining your air for 10 or 20 seconds, okay, let's start like that. There is no inconvenience at all. But approximately, if possible, during 20 seconds, you make the retention of the air, so you keep it there in your testicles or in your ovaries, and at the same time you use your conscious imagination to bring concentrated, right, with will, real will, imagining a golden cord from your coccyx all the way up, vertebra by vertebra, until your frown, 
right? And then the final part is the exhalation. It is a matter of practice. I don't know if probably for some of you or any one of you it results difficult, but it is not like that. It is a matter of practices and as, uh, analyzing and watching several times this information. Sure. Master Jesus, Master Krishna, Samael Aumbeor, Ravulu, Zoroaster, Buddha, Gautama, Buddha, all of them without exception, with their own spouses, they got it. All right? They did it. And finally, the exhalation. Please pronounce a specific mantra with this specific order, vowels I, A, O. I, A, O as follows. You inhale your air, you bring it to your sexual glands finally, then you retain your air, imagining what I already told you, right, during approximately 20 seconds, and 20 more seconds, and finally, at the end, the exhalation, the exhalation, excuse me, as follows. Fifteen or twenty seconds, if possible. Then you go back to the inhalation by your nostrils, approximately fifteen, twenty seconds, using your conscious imagination, concentration, and will. Bring it to the lungs, then to your sexual glands, then you make the retention of the air, imagining how a golden cord of energy goes transmuted vertebra by vertebra from your coccyx. You squeeze your sphincters, please. When you make the retention of the air, squeeze your sphincters because it pumped the sexual energy all the way up to your, uh, through your vertebra, through your spine, until you're from, right? And then the second one. Uh... During approximately 15, 20 seconds more. Then you make another repetition with the inhalation, then the retention, and finally. Oh. During the same time approximately, right? It's better to make it verbally. It's better to pronounce it verbally. You can do it also mentally. But it produces a stronger, a higher, and a better effect result if we do it verbally. Right? If, for example, your spouse doesn't accept you, doesn't want, doesn't want to practice sexual alchemy with you, it's necessary to respect her or his free will. Please do not obligate her, do not obligate him to practice sexual alchemy with you. Okay, so try to be diplomatic here, try to follow the process, and uh, just respect her or his own free will, all right? When you finish with the repetition of O, the pronunciation of O, you start, you go back again to one more inhalation, then the retention and then the pronunciation of E, then you go back to the inhalation, the retention of the air, as I already told you, and then the pronunciation of A, then O, then you go back again, E, A, O. You can do it as many times as you want. But the advice here for couples that are just starting in this process of sexual alchemy is I recommend you to start with, for example, no more than five minutes or two or three minutes per day, all right? It is only allowed to practice once per day, once per day, please, with the conditions that previously I said to you, only once per day, 
the first stages of our process of sexual alchemy no more than three five minutes when after a few months of practicing daily with the conditions i already said to you you think you feel that you are working and managing properly your transmutation of sexual creative energy that you are using a different and more comfortable way your sexual energy you can for example go to seven eight or nine minutes something like that ten minutes all right but still you will do it only once per day all right probably this is just an example uh, remember because each couple has its own rhythm has its own process these are just advices examples because this is something real it happens it's advisable uh, it's uh, our advice please start with no more than two three five minutes during your first stages during your first weeks or even months of practices with sexual alchemy with the transmutation of the sexual creative energy right then seven to ten minutes after some months of practicing it right finally someday why not within the next year within the next two years you'll be perfect you'll be feeling that you can keep perfectly connected to your wife to your spouse for 15 minutes for example all right this is the entire process until probably you'll get the day that you are sexually connected one hour to your spouse all right the secret the secret for this practice is never ejaculate your sperm never get the orgasm please this is the secret of real alchemists if any one of us want to achieve wants to find wants to get the elixir of life the philosophical stone the secret is in the way we have sex never ever in your life there are no exceptions there are no justifications there are no excuses please never ejaculate and never get the orgasm that way you know how to make love if we want to make love it is only possible through supra sex through sexual alchemy never ejaculate and never get the orgasm never is never literally all right and you feel a different you feel stronger after you disconnect of your wife or your husband in the case of you ladies if you don't ejaculate if you don't get your orgasm you transmute it correctly the sexual creative energy you feel stronger you won't feel weak remember that when we have uh, usual sexual intercourses one of the main things we feel without a doubt is that we feel weak right is due to the reality that we split we spill excuse me we spill our own sexual creative energy through that called ejaculation or orgasm but if we avoid the ejaculation and the orgasm will feel stronger and better our vitality will be higher and higher and higher and gradually the kundalini which is also called uh, our sexual creative energy our kundalini will create the inner bodies All right this is something gradual this is a process that takes a process that takes an entire life 
an entire human existence, please. Right? We release the essence daily of the ego through that called psychological death, and that essence already released is the one that we are going to put vertebra by vertebra on our spine to create the correct and the specific inner bodies. What are we going to put here in a, on our vertebras? Egos, psychological effects, envies, resentments, concepts about these spiritual matters, our own ideas and our own concepts, hates, or do you think that we are going to put pressure on our vertebras, all our hates, all our rancors, all our prides, in our vertebras, if we release that trap consciousness, and then at night, we practice correctly uh, the transmutation of the sexual creative energy, we'll put on each one of our vertebrates that released essence, right? To gradually and finally create each one of all those inner bodies. To have real representation in the higher dimensions of the universe, right? And to achieve, to find, to deserve the secrets of life and death. To someday, why not, sooner than later, to be active members of the white brotherhood of our entire universe. All right? That's why I told you, the essence, the basis, the fundamental of our daily process of purification is to first release the consciousness which is trapped inside of each one of our psychological defects. Then at night, if possible, if we are not single, if we already have our couple, our spouse, we'll transmute our energy and we'll put it on each one of our vertebras to create our inner bodies. All right? If you want to check, as I already told you, conference number four, Conference number seven, conference number 10, if you want to check conference number 10, and even conference number 11, you will find more information to complement, to analyze better, to reflect on it better, uh, and to, to join all this information, all right? To finally comprehend it in the correct way. Remember, only the practice of uh, psychological death will become us in a different uh, person. Will give us the right to feel different. All right? It's necessary to light the fire. But it's only possible if firstly we die in ourselves. We eliminate all those psychological defects, to release the consciousness which is trapped inside of each one of them. Right now, let's talk about, remember, if there is any uh, question, any doubt about each one of these factors, please just let me know. And as soon as I can, for sure, shortly, I will respond to you. All right? Let's talk about the third factor of the revolution of the consciousness. Third factor is sacrifice for mankind. When we talk about sacrifice for mankind, we are talking about uh, this sacred or sacred office, sacred work. Of, without exception, no matter who the person is, without exception, we 
without exception. The sacred work of sharing up this information without asking for any money. It must be free for any one of us. If there is nobody that may pay the price for this information, for these teachings, it must be free. This is not a business. This is not a negotiation with anyone else. It's an urgency to share all this information with the entire mankind, or at least as, more, as much as we can, okay? Without exception. The sacred work of sharing all these teachings with the rest of mankind. Remember, here we don't talk about money, right? Don't take advantage of the rest of the people. We don't care. Talking about in the best with with respect. We don't care if you are Catholic. Christian, Jew, whatever you have, whatever religion you have, we don't care. You have, you do have the right to receive all this information without exception. All right? We don't care what the color of your skin is. What your political trend is. That is not my business, right? I do not care about your race. Right? Without exception, you have the right of receiving all these teachings, all this information without exception. Right? Please. There are only the three factors. You want to put it with red color. The three factors of the revolution of the consciousness. And the other techniques we share here as for example, meditation. Uh, how to develop intuition, which is something with urgency to achieve. Astral travel. Relaxation and concentration practices. Etc. 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 All the practices we share here, we did here, we receive here the three factors of the revolution of the consciousness, and that's it. That's all. Please. It means that please do not mix these teachings with astrology, tarot, pendulum, crystals, etc., etc. To achieve your own self-realization, you don't need anything external except your wife, except your husband. That's it. Do not mix this information, please, the one we are giving here, with other knowledges. Again, there are only the three factors of the revolution of the consciousness. 
these uh, esoteric practices, meditation, intuition, astral travel, relaxation and concentration, etc., uh, etc., et the, one the ones we are offering here for free, and that's it, please. All right? It's very important, it's crucial to analyze all this information to don't mix this information with other informations. It is considered by the White Brotherhood as a crime. All right? You just need your wife, or in the case of you ladies, your husband, the correct use of the sexual creative energy to apply psychological debt, to share for free all this information without any exception to the rest of the mankind as much as you can, if possible, virtually, physically, etc., etc., and that's all, please. When any one of us put in practice sacrifice for mankind, immediately, immediately, without exception, it doesn't matter how evil we are, we receive dharma, a spiritual dharma. It is represented in that inner strength that we feel that impulse to continue with the rest of our process of purification. In fact, to have the right of receiving all these teachings of all this information is because we deserve to receive this information due to previous works done in previous human existences for any one of us, for all those that received already all these teachings. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people in our uh, Earth planet that committed different crimes in previous human existences and they don't have the right of receiving these specific teachings, all right? If you want to share it virtually or physically, I don't know, immediately you'll receive gradually, little by little, that specific and special inner strength to continue with your own process of purification, of gradual purification. The more you give this information, the more you share it, without any interest, for free, with all these conditions and spe specifications, the more dharma you receive to keep yourself in your own process to find and achieve sooner than later your own self-realization. All right? Uh, it's been a year and a half, almost a year and a half, giving this information virtually, all these teachings, through this web page, um, through this specific page. And, well, we hope you like it, we hope you analyze it yourself. We hope you don't believe us. Yes, remember always that, please. The worst thing you can do for your own inner being is only to believe us. Please, don't believe me. Just prove it, all this information. To be, to follow your own inner being, to follow yourself, that's the best. Because inside of each one of us, without exception, all of us have our own wisdom, our own consciousness, which is trapped inside of each one of our psychological defects. This is a fact of love. If we feel real and serious and honest love for our mankind, let's share it for free without any interest, without exception, please. We would like to have the tips, the clues to regenerate ourselves, to change our lives, to change our destiny. But if we continue with those old ways of feeling and all those ways of thinking about life, about the universe, and even about the way of purifying ourselves, 
will die deceived. And that's one of the worst things in life, to die deceived. Please, if possible, for any one of you, share all this information. Share it for free, without asking for anything, because that's love. Love never asks for anything. Love never waits anything. Right? Love is giving and giving and giving. That's all. Thank you very much and uh, thank you for attending to this video conference again and if there is any question any doubt about it please let me know and shortly i will respond to you thank you have a great day bye